case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1986, the New Hampshire Supreme Court presided over a case that hinged on a hefty nod to good neighborliness. When someone grants you the right to use their property, you must do so sensibly with the utmost respect for their rights. The case, Thurston Enterprises, Inc. v. Baldy, occurred when a landowner, Lawrence Baldy, granted Thurston, Enterprises, Inc., an easement to pass through his property. Originally, the agreement was harmonious. Thurston Enterprises could drive under the theater marquee and ticket booth on Baldy's land. But harmony turned into discord when Thurston began driving heavy trucks through the easement, causing significant damage. In response to Thurston's damaging tactics, Baldy took the bold step of blocking the entry to the passageway, sparking a tense legal dispute. The case posed a question of balance. Did Thurston have the right to use the property in such a damaging way? Conversely, did Baldy have the right to block access? Ultimately, the court upheld Thurston's easement but laid out some stringent guidelines. The company was obligated to use the property responsibly and to maintain and repair the access for future use. Orders for repair were momentarily overturned, setting the stage for further litigation to resolve those issues. The court's decision, a nuanced affirmation of the concept of respectful property use, sent a compelling message that endures today. Even in matters of law, basic good manners apply. The case was remanded and sent back to trial for further examination. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.